And hello everyone, Shannon here as usually. Uh, today I decided to skip right to the animation. I'm expecting a big fight against this worm dude. The Aknaktor, a guy that's annoying mainly for his burying skills and jumping out of lava. Now here in Monster Hunter Fert he has a new ability. Now actually not a new ability but we are capable of doing a new thing. As you can see his armor just changed from molten to solid. This makes it harder to hit, however, now let me see if I can do it before he notices me. Suicide! Okay, that worked. As you can see his beak is now on fire. Uh, that's new. It, what happens now is if you use bomb or shellings of some of any sort, his lava will revert, revert or the part that it hits will revert back to its molten state, making it softer. Softer, yeah. Now, as for my equipment, down for plus, a nice armor set, and a good couple of skills, although very negative fire resist is gonna cause me some problems. As you can see, he... no. No, that's just because he went there. Now, this is what I don't like about this guy. I hate when he keeps thinking he's a Gradius and using all his hit beams. Ooh, that's the second stagger I hit him in the head. Oh, it it broke. It's a bit hard to say when he he, he has any break, but that's definitely a head break. Now, if my cats could just stand behind me and not kill him this time, they already killed the, the monster last two episodes. I'm just no, actually, my cats are already maxed out, so they aren't going to get. Okay, screw me, jumping forward. This is what I don't like. The other next thing I don't like about this guy, having to jump around whenever he, he hits me. Ah, keep forgetting about his anticipation. My cats are already both at level 20, so they won't be getting any better. Unless I teach them a new skill, despite they already knowing or being capable of knowing any, every skill there is. Okay, now let's get on with it. Come on. Now's a nice opening. Still haven't been able to hit this guy in a row. Okay. Now this is why I think it's going to be a long fight. Especially if he keep, keeps digging on the ground like that. That's the main reason. Although, it kind of makes things better not having to jump through all those parts in the beginning. Gonna hit you in the head. Ah. Don't you make me a liar. Can I hit? No, not this time. I refuse to fall for the same trick twice. I keep, forget I keep forgetting what monsters can do that and which ones can't. I know the Rayfalls can do it, definitely. Riffian can't. Other than that, virtually... Oh, the Diablos can, if I'm not mistaken. Although he sometimes doesn't do it, but most of the times he can do it. Now, I like how this long sword looks like a broom. Makes it really funny to use. Come on, let me get some consecutive hits here. Ah. Um, how am I ever gonna be able to use my abilities? Oh crap. Uh, damn it, got overconfident there. Two, three. Not again. Don't do it again. No, no, that, that, that. Screw you. One. Two, three. Get away. Okay. I get my safe distance from this guy. Ah, finally, an opening. I actually believe fights are meant to be fought like in two phases. 
the, the first phase you basically just stand there around waiting for this guy to get tired on the second phase this guy gets tired and you start hitting him for massive damage actually funny how most of the fights go like that especially against monsters like Narga and Jinoga, guys that are really fast but then become really slow actually I don't think of any mo I don't think there is any monster that doesn't follow that plan except monsters that perhaps are just constantly strong probably something like um, let me think let me think a fatalis or a, a cantor a gnak no a gnak no some of these, those guys are to do it now finally a tail One carve. Okay. God, I hate having these an annoying mobs while you fight. I think I hate having his armor hard even more. Jump to the ground, jump to the ground, jump to the ground, and hit them! Crap. Keep forgetting about that. Guess he's got his stamina back while I was chasing him. You've been eating, haven't you? Man, you really hate it when I hit you in the head, don't you? That's three staggers on the head and one sta and one tail cut. Let him land. No. Gotcha. Okay, that's one level of charge. Whoa. Ooh, nice one. Crap. God, I love speed sharpening for this. Ching. Come on, come on. Need a couple of hits. Don't care, don't care. I'm going for the two hits. Okay, not going for the two hits. Okay, I'm going for the two hits. Three, four. Crap, 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 Ah! God damn it. Okay, not no longer sure if this is gonna be tw under 12 minutes. I'm happy as long as it's under 15. Actually, 14 and a half. So I have more than enough time for the vi for putting the introduction and the ending. <coughs> okay, epic fail there. I love how they enhance the collision system in this game, so that we no longer have unfair collisions where they don't touch you. Actually, I actually think they actually think they did the same in in Monster Hunter 3. Which has made it that so that the same same attacks but hitting different parts do different damage. So for example, if I get hit by the tip of its tail, it deals more damage than if I'm right here in the middle and he does a tail sweep. Actually, that that's the feeling I get. So not really sure if that really happens, but it would be nice, be more realistic and stuff. Swords do that, for example. If you hit them with the tip of the long sword, it deals. Okay, now I'm forgetting. Does it deal more damage or less damage? It deals more damage. Honestly, I think I I think when I looked at that, I saw that it did less damage. It 
but it would make a lot more sense if it did more damage, since it's the tip, which travels at a greater speed, according to the laws of physics. Don't eat. Don't go into the lava. God damn it. Get away from there. Hey, okay. Got his attention now. Run away! Ah! God, I hate it. I Okay, good one there. Kind of unfair there. Now, don't you dare steal my kill, cats. I probably won't have a problem yet. This guy isn't, isn't showing any signs of even slowing down. Speed sharpening. For me, the best skill you can buy with 5 duels. I would actually be very happy if I found a uh, talisman that has plus 10 speed sharpening. Ah! Again, I forgot about the quake. Yes! What? Okay. Hit the cat. Hit nothing, hit you in the face, twice, another stagger to the face. What? Really? I got hit because of that. He's right behind, under me. What? Crap. Seriously? Go into the mega potion. Come on, come on, buddy. Come on. Let him land. Land it. Houston, we have landed. And another stagger to the face. Don't you get tired of that? How's my count? I actually think 5 or 6. 5, if I'm not mistaken. 5 staggers to the face. Considering the first one broke it off. I well, don't see much point in hitting him there. Other than it dealing a lot of damage. Sharpen it again. The emergency jump system. Whoa, thank you. And yes, final charge level of the longsword. It takes a long time to charge the longsword against this guy since he keeps trying to run away. Oh crap, and I'll have to follow him all the way to area 10, which is where he sleeps. Hello there! Come on, are you just gonna crawl? Oh, you wanna die here? You don't wanna go rest up in the other area? Eh, fine by me. Means I don't have to walk that long. And I'm on fire again. Maybe I should have brought fire resist. Nah. If I ever brought that, I would, I would need to not have brought speed sharpening and I can't imagine using this sh shitty sword without it. And we're done. No one still might kill this time. Well folks, that's all. Hope you enjoy. Shinom's here saying goodbye.